Well, this week we've seen more spin and deceit from Joe Hockey in relation to the budget. Last year, he doubled the budget deficit, adding $68 billion in new spending and changed economic assumptions in order to inflate the deficit to soften the Australian people up for cuts to come in May. This week, we've seen a selective leak from the Commission of Audit Report. Now, I have a novel idea for Mr Hockey. Instead of selectively leaking parts of the Commission of Audit Report, why don't you release all of the report. Yesterday, the people of Western Australia voted in the Senate election without being given the benefit of seeing the Commission of Audit Report by Mr Hockey. Well, all people of Australia should see the Commission of Audit Report so that we can have a proper discussion about the cuts that Mr Hockey is planning in May's budget. This leak came after the bungled leak of a so-called Treasury document by the Treasurer. The Treasurer was happy to see a briefing note be characterised all through the media as a Treasury briefing note. According to the Australian's report on Monday, this was new Treasury analysis. The Daily Telegraph referred to it as a Treasury note released last night. But when you actually look at the Treasury briefing note, so-called Treasury briefing note, you find that it was actually written in his office over 20 minutes on the weekend. Joe, it's time to stop being dodgy with the Australian people and time to start being honest. The Australian people deserve better than this spin and deceit from Joe Hockey in relation to May's budget. It's time for Joe Hockey to come clean on the true state of the budget and to stop softening up the Australian people for cuts to come. If Mr Hockey wants to soften anybody up, he should be softening up the Prime Minister and explaining that his paid parental leave scheme is unfair and unaffordable, that his direct action scheme will add billions of dollars to the budget deficit without doing anything about climate change. It's time for honesty. It's time for Joe Hockey to stop being dodgy and start being honest.